Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Today I am filming one of my most requested videos lately. So this video is my kind of just like life after school, so uni related video. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of my videos I upload weekly and this week there will be two videos coming your way so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. So the first segment of the video I'm going to be showing you like my uni bag, what's in it, where I got it from um, and all of that type of stuff and then at the end of the video I'm going to be answering your questions that you have asked me about uni and life after school on my Instagram story. So let's just get into the bag. Okie dokie, so this is the bag. Um, it's just like this really cute kind of um, light pink bag. I actually don't know how to pronounce where it's from. Um, I think it's like Kyra... Kento? I don't know. I will just leave it on the screen and also link it in the description box so you guys can go check it out. They have so many cute bags for uni, work, um, going out, like side bags. They have everything. So yeah, I picked up this one from Insert, wherever, however you say it. And um, yeah, it was pretty sure it was sale for $70. Yep, so this was 100 reduced to 70 which is such a bargain. Um, yeah, but this is the one I got and I literally love it. It's a really good, um, it's like pretty thick material so the like, straps aren't going to break um, and it's also kind of suede on the inside and it's got the gold detailing. So yeah, this one also does have a little zip inside. So you can zip everything up shut. Ooh, this is really cute. I was designing besides this color and the brown. And I was like, brown's more versatile. But like, I love pink. And this goes with all like my books and pens and all that. So, yeah. so in my bag, I carry. So it depends on what day it is. So yesterday, I had um, two subjects. So I just took two of my books. So these are the books that I am using. They're all the same. Um, and I've just written like, oops, inside. I don't know if you guys can see that, like up the top, uh, what subject it's for. Um, and yeah, I'll just take whatever subjects I have that day, those books for that. So yeah, I have four of these books because I do four subjects and these are just from Kmart I believe they were three dollars so yeah they're really cute I just like the um how it's got like the gold kind of outlining on the pages um and then it's got like the pink and yeah I just think it's like really cute um that's that so next I carry my laptop in my bag. This is the, I think it's the 12 or 13 inch um, new MacBook Pro in space gray. Um, I got this one pretty much just when I was finishing end of grade 12 because my MacBook Air shit itself. So yeah, and I've loved this one ever since. I haven't really had any problems with it. All right, next I just have my 2019 diary. This is my one from Kmart. I think I showed it in my getting back on track vlog at the start of the year. Uh, just looks like that. Literally, I just write everything in here. I did use the one that the uni gave me. However, um... Well, I didn't really like it because it was really small and um, it was purple, like a really ugly purple colour. And this just like matches everything else. So, and I just like when everything like matches. So I just saw like all important dates. And next I just carry this 
like loose sleeve kind of wallet with me. Then I carry my water bottle with me wherever I go. This is just the one that has like, um, it's from the Hellfish Co. I will link them in the description and I will also go discount code you guys can use, which will be on the screen. So this is one litre, so that's really good that I can just carry one litre with me everywhere. It's also really light and when it's full, it's still really light and it's got like the times of the day on it, I think. If you guys watched my cooking video, I explained it. So um, if you want to go check that out, it will also be linked in the description. I baked um, a healthy snack, which is so yummy. So definitely go watch that. And it's really good if you're a uni student because you can take it with you and just eat it. And then lastly, I carry my pencil case. So this pencil case is from the brand Kiki K and it just has my um, initials up the top here and then it's like the same color as um, my books and everything like that and like everything is the pink and gold themed so yeah um, and in here I just carry two pens I did have another pen but I'm pretty sure I lost it on my first day at uni so that's a good start um, these pens are from Kmart they're super duper cute um, they're a bit extra, but anyway. And then I also carry the adapter for my laptop, um, wide out, some little post-it notes in case I need to like stick them in somewhere so that I know to go back to that. My student ID card. Um, then I just have like a little paper clip. And then I also have a uh, like phone charge charger adapter and some lip balm so yeah that's everything that goes in this bad boy and then obviously i put my um wallet and stuff in there when i go to uni and my phone and that is that so there you guys go i also have a haul coming soon of uni outfits so stay tuned for that and yes so i have so many questions here because in my most recent video the life update like q a type of thing i got so many questions about uni and um like my final results of grade 12 and everything like that um but i didn't want to answer them and go into depth in that because i knew i was doing a whole separate video so here you guys go i'm going to be answering all your questions all right what uni am I at? I am at ACU, so it is the Australian Catholic University. Do you have any of your friends doing the course with you? Love you. Love you too. So I have some like guys and girls from other schools that I'm good friends with in my course as well. So yeah, I do, but um, it doesn't mean that they're in my classes. How different is it to high school? Well, with certain things, there's like no leeway or like in school if you forgot something they would the teachers would either go and get it for you or they'd just be like oh like don't worry you can bring it in this day but in uni it's completely different like it's just your fault you get marked down or not marked at all but yeah it's yeah a long a lot diff not a lot different but it's a big jump did you make any new friends and advice on how to meet new people sorry that's really hard to say to answer because yesterday was my very first day and obviously I was nervous um, on who was gonna be in my classes if I knew anyone and all of that but um, I actually did make a new friend and she's 27 she was so lovely I would just say just throw yourself in the deep end go and talk to someone new They're probably just as nervous as you so what course are you doing at uni? So I am doing a Bachelor of Nursing and a Bachelor of Business Administration. So it's a dual degree. What ATAR did you get to get into your course? So we didn't do ATAR, we did OP and rank and I did rank. So rank is, you don't really have to have this stress that all of the OP students do. So I didn't do six prerequisite subjects. I did two cert threes and then the rest of my subjects were prereq subjects. So I pretty much could do a lot better than what other students who did OP did because they're stressing about having six or five subjects that they have to do really well in or 
you know, to be able to get their OP higher, whereas I only did four OP subjects and then I did two Cert 3s and Cert 3s boost your rank score anyway. And the ATAR slash OP, so for Brisbane, the OP is pretty much like one is the lowest, so the best, and 25 is the highest, so the worst. Um, and I got a 10 to be able to get into the course. I had to meet the requirements of a rank 73 and an OP 12. So I met that by a lot. What days do I attend uni? So I don't really have a busy schedule, which is pretty good. Um, Cause then it leaves me with a lot of free time. So I go in on Monday and then I have the whole day of Tuesday off. So today is Tuesday. Um, and then Wednesday and on Thursday I just have a two hour lecture in the morning from 8 till 10. What have you done to prepare yourself to be organized? So that's just making sure I've read through everything before a class, um, done everything that I need to have done before the first day. I went to orientation which helped a lot. Um, I have a map so I know my way around. <laughs> And then just knowing your timetable and making sure you've got all the equipment that you need. Were you nervous for your first day of uni? I was kind of nervous, just not knowing what to expect, but it all went really well. What is your dream job and what do you want to get from your course slash courses? So I want to become a nurse. Um, I want to do emergency nursing, which is really big. So guys don't really know what emergency nursing is that is paramedics are the people who are the first ones to see the patient and to be on the scene and then the emergency um, nurses are the ones that receive them first at the hospital so that's what I want to do it's really big um, obviously you can't just go straight into it you have to like work around like the wards and all that type of stuff but I just want to do emergency for a fair few years because it's something different every day you don't get attached to your patient like you do in the wards so I do want to go into pediatrics later on down the track um, and pediatrics is kids if you didn't study nursing what would you study instead I honestly have no idea I used to want to do a, ba a bachelor of creative industries but that changed when I went to this program that the school put an offer for me at the hospital and then I was like, I want to do this. I want to be a nurse, I want to work in the emergency room, this is where this is where I want to be. And these last couple of weeks for me, um, I've had like, just randomly, I've had like a lot of things happen in front of me that I've had to act quick on that have to do with caring for someone and it's so weird how my body just reacts like that. So I guess that's another reason why I choose why well, I'm choosing to do emergency because I have a quick reaction in a serious situation and I just really enjoy caring and helping people. Alrighty guys, that does bring us to the end of this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, I was looking forward to filming this video because it was so requested um, and you guys just wanted to know so much about my uni life and all of that good stuff so yes thank you guys so much for watching and for all of the support make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment below i'm trying my best to reply to most of the comments so let's chat in the comment section below let me know what videos you guys want to see just want to put content out that you guys want to see and are really interested in so let me know if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do so because recently I've been putting up so many Instagram stories of me talking and um, like some hauls on my stories and just sharing with you guys more of my life on my Instagram story. I do kind of like mini vlogs. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and for always supporting me. It means so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.